sorry again about the lighting. The sun is just at a terrible angle right now for recording these types of videos. <laughs> We're taking a different route home, so hopefully it won't be quite as bad. So we started looking at a second duplex in Kittrell uh, in December. I think it was, De it was November or December. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was actually in... Uh, in a development with five other duplexes uh, and, and two of those duplexes had already been purchased by another investor who works with our property manager. And there is an HOA, so uh, one of the pros to this deal was if we purchased another duplex, then the, th the, th the three duplexes that we owned uh, with our property manager, we would have um, control of over the HOA, which would be nice. So that was one benefit. The other was his other investor was already making money off of his and they had turned out pretty positive so far. And they were all built at the same time and in the same style and that kind of thing. So it seemed like, uh, seemed like an interesting thing. Uh, we did a little bit of negotiating with the seller because they were asking a higher price than they should have been for the unit given the condition that it was in. Especially given the fact that the roof is going to need replacing soon. The HVAC system will almost certainly need replacing soon on both sides. Uh, so there's a couple of really high capital expenditures there that are going to be needed soon. There were also a few, um, a few problems with the unit uh, that we had them fix ahead of time. Um, we, we tried to do something where you know they, either they would knock few thousand off the price or they could just fix these things themselves and they opted to just fix it themselves so uh, so we closed this month um, there's already tenants on both sides and they're happy staying uh, they're actually already using the same online system to pay their rent that our property manager uses so that's nice they won't have to change into a new system or get used to anything that's different and uh, yeah so Short-term plans are to fix a few more of the minor things that are wrong with it. And uh, long-term plans are to replace the HVAC units and the roof when those need to re be replaced. Should probably be sooner rather than later. And um, yeah, that's about it. This one's actually a little more boring than the Franklinton one because uh, it doesn't come with extra land and mobile homes. <laughs> and. Uh, they don't need to be like completely revamped. Yeah. But we drove up there and, and checked them out the other day uh, before closing. Um, walked through each unit. Mm -hmm. What did you think of them? I thought they were nice. They're cute. Just like you said, a few minor repairs. Like the cabinets in the bathroom were not actually sealed or it seemed like they weren't even attached to the wall like they're yeah. just sitting there and they kind of wobble when you move the, them. the vanities were not <laughs> attached to the cabinets and the cabinets were not attached to the walls <laughs> which overall seems like a disaster waiting to happen yeah uh, and the funny thing was our property manager was with us and he he the tenants were there too and he was like hey did you know this is happening and they acted kind of like <laughs> whatever <laughs> whatever no big deal he said Take some photos and send me an email and I'll get this fixed. So, don't you want this fixed? I would want it fixed if I lived there. I dropped my toothbrush down that crack. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty amazing though how, like, it seems like a lot of landlords will let their properties fall into disrepair and just don't care about fixing them, which makes no sense to me because the small stuff is not that expensive to fix. No. And the large stuff is inevitable, and again, it's not that big a deal to handle as long as you've been saving your money, uh, a little bit of your income all along, to handle those big purchases. Um, so I don't know. Like, I, I would have felt bad if, if we had tenants with loose vanities in their bathrooms <laughs> like that. Yeah. Um, but I guess some people don't feel bad. <laughs> I think their tenants live that way. And apparently the tenants didn't care. Yeah, yeah. That's Well, that's part of the problem, I'm sure, is like the tenants have to report stuff. It's not like we can... We have x-ray vision and can see into their into their uh, house. And we can just barge in every month and be like, hey, we're checking for new problems since you won't let us know about things. 
<laughs> I'd rather not do that. It, it was a little awkward walking around while the tenants were there. Yes. Um, Particularly with the poor guy we woke up. Yeah, one one fellow worked night shift, and he he had clearly just we had woken him up. Um, it was around eleven o'clock, I guess. So he was probably in the middle of his sleep. <laughs> oh well. Um, hopefully, we'll make it up to him by fixing up the place better than it is now. I didn't notice any loose vanity cabinets on his side, though. That's true. His side seemed to be in better repair overall. Yeah. There was a huge swath of land near these five duplexes. And um, initially, we were thinking, wow, who owns that? We should buy that and build on it. And then and then our property manager showed up and he said, oh, no, that's, that's, that's the septic, the septic field. <laughs> oh, man. It's a big septic field. <laughs> So we can't do anything with that. Oh well. But we have been, uh, we did talk with, with Pete, our property manager, about um, possibly paving the road. Because these five duplexes are, they each have like dirt pads for parking and it's a dirt road leading back to the, the main road. So it might be worth paving that at some point. Anyway, that's about it. I can't think of anything else. All right.